Hi, and welcome to Activity 4, Encourage Effective Relationships. So the dot point we're covering today, the performance criteria, is encourage effective relationships within the framework of the organization's social, ethical, and business standards. Uh, if we look at the performance evidence, we're looking at demonstrating integrity, respect, empathy, and cultural sensitivity, and promote trust. We're also looking at forging effective relationships with internal and or external people and help to maintain these networks. We're looking at developing networks and build team relationships. And we're looking at explaining techniques for developing positive work relationships and building trust and confidence in a team. In terms of our foundation skills, we're looking at interacting with others. Selects and uses appropriate conventions and protocols when communicating with internal and external st stakeholders. So it should be the goal of every employee to encourage effective relationships. It is much easier to work as a team than to work as an individual. By fostering effective relationships, it is much easier to draw on the experience of colleagues in order to improve the quality of your own work. Tasks that were once impossible suddenly become quite easy when the right relationships exist. It is important that these relationships are conducted in the correct manner. Most, if not all, businesses should have some form of standard that covers how the business is conducted in a social and ethical manner. This could take the form of a code of conduct or be contained in some other policy. Effective relationships are built through fostering trust by focusing on integrity, respect, and empathy. Following the code of conduct of a business, which will likely be written to foster the above values, will also aid in building relationships by giving a workplace a consistent set of rules to follow when engaging with the business.